Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to our ongoing health care series with the great Dr. Peter Glidden, who is one, if the most outstanding naturopathic physicians and nutrition experts, not just in our country, but around the world. You know, in addition to Peter's outstanding clinical skills, he's also a fantastic author. And I encourage you to get his books. They are the foundation of our medical library in our home. The books, Everybody is Sick, and I Know Why, <laughs> and Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine, both written by Dr. Peter Glidden, G-L-I-D-D-E-N. Go to Amazon. They're available for you right there. And it's my honor to welcome back to our platform. This, I believe, is our 18th in the series of our healthcare series with Dr. Peter Glidden. We've had incredibly positive feedback, and um, I do believe we've helped a significant number of people, Peter, by getting your information and your knowledge into the hands of people that the pharmaceutical industry, the, the, the big medicine, the AMA, uh, big insurance companies do not want people to know, but you deliver the information, and I thank you for your courage in doing so. Well, thanks for having me, Dave. And you know, it's 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 remarkable, right? Because, like the fellow said, history doesn't repeat itself; it rhymes. <laughs> true. Right. If the story's true, not everybody who had the chance got on Noah's Ark, and that's kind of the situation that we're up against right now. And and as God is my witness, if people knew half of what you and I know about what's going on in the background with big pharma and the government and manipulation, there would be, there would be another revolution mm -hmm. tomorrow because the amount of skullduggery and just really bad human behavior, mm -hmm. I mean, it's mind boggling. And, and, and that's, that's what gets me up every morning because <clears throat> Nobody knows what we know. Everybody needs to know what we know. And the vast majority of the time when people apply what we know and tell them to, their health increases. Mm -hmm. And this is really, this is the best kept secret. And, in the 21st and their demand for the standard medical practice diminishes and their mm -hmm. demand for pharmaceutical products diminishes, which is why the big boys are not happy with this series and what you do and what I do. Yeah, and, that we, and it, this is also why in the last four years, you don't hear this in the, the lame stream media, <laughs> 99 right. holistic healthcare providers licensed and regulated, most of whom were MDs practicing integrative medicine, anti-vaccination <laughs> people or anti-cancer, anti-chemotherapy people, medical doctors practicing holistic medicine in states in which they were licensed to do so, by the way, doing alternative cancer treatments other than chemo and radiation. 99, 99 in the last four years, dead under suspicious circumstances. So this is hardball that we're mm -hmm. playing. And I, I think, I think one, of the, uh, one of the defenses against the evil empire is to keep showing up on the main stage and opening our mouths. That's exactly it. Because, you know, if, if we retire or if all of a sudden just don't want to work as hard, leave the public forum, that's when we're going to be found floating face down in the river. I'm afraid you're correct on that assessment. And which is why, one of the reasons why we do what we do, because our goal is to empower as many people as possible who are willing to listen and then look at and research what we speak about. You know, today, Peter, um, with obviously winter coming into in, into uh, full effect, uh, where you live, where I live, and even around, any, everywhere around the country, today's topic is going to be boost your immunity for the holidays, the immune system. And there's also an anti-aging, if you will, component to this. And we're going to drop a couple F words on people today. All right. Okay. And, and let's take them one by one. One is the word fucoidin and what it is. And the other is foundation, in particular, something that is exclusive to Operation Freedom Health. And full disclosure purchase of the products through OperationFreedomHealth.com does support the Operation Freedom platform. But in particular, there's an exclusive combination 
that we have on Operation Freedom Health to enhance every person's nutritional well-being called the Foundation Pack. So let's first start with the first F word, fucoidin. <laughs> what is it, Pete? And why is it so important? Well, in fancy schmancy medical jargon, fucoidin is a sulfated polysaccharide, right? It's a, it's a naturally occurring biochemical found in sea vegetables and some sea invertebrates like this weird little creature called a sea cucumber. But most fucoidin that's found in nutritional supplements is extracted from brown seaweeds, um, which have a particular affinity to grow um, around Japan and Southeast Asia. Now, it is this one ingredient, fucoidin, F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, has, has been re There are over a thousand published research mm -hmm. papers on fucoidin and what it does. It's a laundry list of positive effects. Let me just let me just give you the the uh, you know the top ten, not even the top ten, the top five. It mobilizes stem cells. Fucoidin mobilizes stem cells, so it encourages your body to repair itself. Is that a good thing to do? I think that's a good thing I to agree. do. There's a protein that circulates in the body called SIRT6, S-I-R-T-6. Fucoidin activates SIRT6. Well, what does SIRT6 do? SIRT6 is anti-aging. When our cells in our body reproduce, mm -hmm. which they do all of the time, they lose a little bit of genetic information. It's like making a copy of a copy. You can only do that so many times until you can't see what it is anymore. Well... When the cells reproduce, they lose a little bit of their genetic material. CERT-6 prevents that from happening. So it actually increases the lifespan of genetic material, which, I mean, it's that in and of itself is a remarkable thing. It attenuates amyloid beta accumulation, which means it knocks down the accumulation of amyloid beta in the brain. Mm -hmm. What's amyloid beta? That's the stuff that accumulates in people with Alzheimer's disease. So fucoidin prohibits that from happening. It slows down the process of amyloid beta uh, formation in the brain. That's pretty good. It stimulates the immune response. It upregulates macrophage response time and helper T cell production. Most importantly, <clears throat> well, I think the CERT-6 thing is pretty important, but mm -hmm. this is also important from our point of view. When people eat the 12 bad foods, especially wheat, barley, rye, and oats, the tissues in our small intestinal tract, which absorb nutrients, they're called intestinal villi, become damaged. So you eat a little bit of wheat, you damage the villi. You eat a little more wheat, you damage the villi. You drink a beer, you damage the villi. You eat wheat, barley, rye, and oats, you damage the villi. And after 40 years of that nonsense, it's really difficult for your body to absorb anything because you've been gently destroying the tissues that do that over your entire life, unwittingly, inadvertently. Guess what? Fucoidin helps the villi to heal themselves, mm -hmm. or, which is remarkable on its face. And, you know, when you put all of these things together, you know, it, it increases... <clears throat> the uh, D longevity of DNA. Mm -hmm. It helps to heal the gut. Mm -hmm. It upregulates the immune system, uh, and it mobilizes stem cells. You got to be kidding me! This stuff should be. Oh, and it also has anti-cancer properties. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that. That's really where fucoidin gets most of its press. But as far as I'm concerned, the other stuff is more important than mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, you know, uh, if you were the Surgeon General <laughs> of the United States, we'd be researching this. This stuff needs to be drilled down into. It's, there's so much promise here, so much promise for human health. Um, I think it should be, if there's money there, if there's enough money to get this stuff, if there's enough money left over in the tank after you do the foundation pack, then it would be prudent for people to add a bottle of the fucoidin to their monthly stuff, their monthly nutritional supplement stuff. And the product that carries it that, that we're recommending is called Z, like zebra, 
radical, Z radical. Um, it's a fantastic product. It's not only does it have a lot of fucoidin in it, but it, it has mangosteen and other concentrated fruits, which are extremely high in antioxidant activity. It's a great um, icing on the foundation pack uh, cake of awesomeness. So one F word is fucoidin. The other F word that you mentioned is foundation pack. So educate all of our listeners on Pete on why the foundation, what comprises the foundation pack and why is that foundation pack essential, if you will, as the foundation for folks' nutritional well-being? All right. Let's say I'm growing two tomato plants. Yep. And I've got, they're in the same soil, more or less. But one tomato plant, I stick away in a dark room and I only water it once a week. And I don't give it any fertilizer whatsoever. The other tomato plant, it's in the sunlight. I water it regularly and I give it good fertilizer all the time. Which one's going to be a stronger tomato plant? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's a simple question. It's the one that you take care of. Right. The human body is no different. $25 million of research that happened in the late 70s and the early 80s, the late 70s through the 80s, has shown, uh, by the way, this research is in the Smithsonian Institute in the United States of America. It proved academically that there are 90 essential nutrients that the human body needs just to work the way that nature and God intended it. 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and two fatty acids for a grand total of 90. We know we may discover next week that there's two other essential nutrients and next year two more, but right now it's we're pretty much dialed in at 90. The problem is that these 90 essential nutrients, which have been proven, academically proven, to be essential for human health, they are not all present in the food chain. Some of them are, many of them are not, and because of modern agricultural farming methods, with the overuse of pesticides, herbicides, and genetically modified food, the amounts of these nutrients in the food are getting less and less and less and less. Big surprise. So you may own 100 acres of the most organic farmland on planet Earth. Only eat the stuff that you grow. You're still going to be nutritionally deficient. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to fulfill your body's nutrient needs just by eating food. You can't do it. You must supplement. And in 31 years now of clinical work, as a licensed naturopathic doctor, the foundation pack is the most efficient, effective, cost uh, beneficial way to get the 90 essential nutrients in the human body. I've never seen a combination of products work the way that these do. This stuff is the most effective nutritional supplement I've, I've seen in over 30 years. And that foundation pack is only available on OperationFreedomHealth.com. Four components to it. Peter, tell me if I'm wrong. Beyond tangy tangerine, the osteo-FX, the plant-derived minerals, and the omega fatty acids. Yeah, that's it. And if you were to take all of the stuff that's in each of those four products and go to the health food store mm -hmm. and try to cobble all that together, mm -hmm. <laughs> it would cost you three or four times as much as it does for the foundation pack and it would be prohibitively difficult to swallow it all down because that's just a lot. Not only are the ingredients in these products exceptional, but the way that they were packaged and put together also exceptional. Take for instance the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. By the way, Clemson University did a study with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine which mm -hmm. proved that it had a dramatically positive effect on cancer of the colon. Dramatically positive effect on people with colon cancer. Remarkable study. There is so much stuff in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. There's vitamins, there's minerals, there's, uh, there's concentrated fruit and vegetables, there's prebiotics, there's probiotics, there's antioxidants. So much stuff the way that it's manufactured is really important but because for instance ever gone to the supermarket and bought a box of you know cereal 
It's a big box like this, and you get it home, and you open it up, and there's right. this much cereal in the bottom <laughs> right. of the box, right? Yeah, I've been there, done that, yeah. Yeah, because it settles out. Or, you know, you'll buy milk with the cream on top, whole milk, unhomogenized milk, and, you know, it's, it's separated, right? Mm -hmm. The cream's floating on top, and the milk's on the bottom. Or you buy a bottle of paint can of paint you get it home and all the paint solids are on the bottom of it. you got to stir it for 15 minutes to make it all in solution again the same thing happens with nutrients in powdered form the beyond tangy tangerine is in powdered form for a reason but the way that it was manufactured the nature of the crystals that exist in that powder are such that it doesn't separate mm -hmm. it doesn't clump together mm -hmm. It doesn't stick together. It doesn't settle to the bottom of the canister. It's right there to the top all the time. You keep it on the shelf for 100 years, it would still be right there on the top. And more importantly, or most importantly, it dissolves like that in water. It does. This is, I mean, just the technology that goes into how they did that is a remarkable thing. And when, when you combine that with the actual recipes... Mm -hmm. This is why it works. And, you know, we're the only people that are promoting holistic medical nutrition. Everybody else, it's fractionated medical nutrition. Now, take boatloads of vitamin D. Take intravenous drips of vitamin C, right? right take right. a lot of this, a lot of that. Right. Well, you know, not such a good idea. No. Better idea. Trust that the human body knows how to fix itself. The human body wants to fix itself. The human body's trying to fix itself all of the time and give it the raw materials that it needs to accomplish that job. Peter, this let's talk about... we get such remarkable success. Peter, let's talk about dosing because this is always important. What I always tell people is that, uh, you know, it's recommended, for example, with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you take two scoops a day. I tell people, start off at a quarter of the dose or half the dose. Yeah. S do it for a couple weeks, see how you feel. Yeah, and and if and and if you're tolerating it very well, then increase it a little bit each time. Yeah, until you get to that preferred dosage. Everybody's different with their metabolism. Everybody's different with what they can handle and how they can handle it. Now, some people say, "Well, you know, I, I think it'd be better if I just started full go right at the." I I think <laughs> one from a cost effective standpoint, and number two from a tolerance standpoint. That's the way to do it. Am I wrong on that? Because a lot of folks have disagreed with me on that. No, it's much better to start small and work up. I mean, it's it's a bad metaphor, or maybe not. No. But I mean, you know, if we were if we were going to go out on a Saturday night and have a good time, probably would not be a good idea to drink three shots of tequila in the no. first half an hour. No. Right? No, not for You're me. You're going to want to spread that out. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> Right. It's the same, especially because, and, and this is, you know, it, sometimes I think probably from a listener's point of view, this sounds like a sales pitch, right? But the fact of the matter is that, it, again, as God is my witness, the, the stuff in the foundation pack is the most effective combination of essential nutrients I've ever seen. And the things that I've seen people recover from using these products are often remarkable to me. Well, and Peter, y y you could make a lot more money, a lot of money, from recommending higher end, if you will, higher cost products that are prescription, that would people would have to come to you or come I, I to me. I used to do that. Well, no, would we'll come to <laughs> us and say, oh, write a prescription for this because this is the only way I can get it. Yeah. Right. You're Yet, absolutely but, right. But as the top nutrition guy in the in the country, if not the world, you recommend this because of what you've seen as far as the benefits by thousands of people. Yeah, tens of thousands of people by now. I mean, it's it's this is not a panacea cure all, but it's really, really, really effective, science based, clinically verified medical nutrition. Your point is well taken, Dave. That because this stuff is so very concentrated and so very effective because of its holistic nature and its recipe and the way that the stuff has been put together i mean you know it's not a bad idea to start a little slow so you know the recommended dose for the foundation pack is one foundation pack per 100 pounds of body weight per month so if you're 200 pounds, two foundation packs a month, just start with one. Start with one foundation pack, for goodness sakes. 
take half of the recommended dose for 14 days, see how you feel. Then take a little bit more, see how you feel. And you have to play around to find the Goldilocks zone because it's going to be different for everybody. So many variables, right? So many variables that are present there. I think it's really smart to start slow and build your way up to it. I think people will get a much better response if they do it that way. And Peter, let's talk about uh, last issue. Um, if folks are on medications, um, as uh, medications, pharmaceutical grade products, tell me if I'm wrong on this, but it's my understanding can t tend to deplete nutrients in the body. And as you start to supplement and take those, bring those nutrients back into the body, it can actually cause an upregulation of the the drug, the pharmaceutical product. So if folks are on prescription grade medications, they should know what the side effects of them are so that if they start to see some of these side effects, um, that they obviously would need to contact their treating physician, but also to bring, if you will, the dosages of the medicines down. For example, when I first finally listen to your advice and having bad arthritis was on multiple anti-inflammatories. And as I started to become more nutritionally sound, one of the first things I noticed is not only my symptoms were dissipating, but I was not having to take the, the number of medications I was taking for my arthritis to the point where in a month's time, I was completely off all anti-inflammatories. <laughs> Educate our listeners on that. If they're on medications, how they should handle that. Well, you know, it's not that pharmaceuticals tend to deplete nutrients in the human body. They do deplete nutrients in the human body. That's how they work. When you take a pharmaceutical agent into your body, it messes with your metabolism. That's what it's supposed to do. It pushes this biochemical pathway this way and this biochemical pathway this way and suppresses this one. It does metabolic work inside the human body. Interestingly, the metabolism that the drugs work on is made from vitamins, minerals, amino acids, essential fatty acids. So the longer that the drug is in your system, the more it's burning through your nutrients. And our whole supposition is that everybody's nutritionally deficient anyway. Mm -hmm. Everybody is nutritionally deficient because you can't get everything that you need from eating. You can't do it. So you're nutritionally deficient. That's probably why you got the problem in the first place. Probably why you got heartburn. Probably why you got type 2 diabetes. Probably why you got high blood pressure. It's not genetic. It's not because you're getting older and it's not because of chemtrails. These things are very real, but they have different effects on the body, different negative effects. Unrecognized nutrient deficiencies. After 30 years of clinical experience, I'm here to tell you, unrecognized nutrient deficiencies are the leading cause of chronic disease. It's the first thing to consider. There may be other things, but these are the first things to consider, and nobody's talking about it. No, no one is. Except us. So we have to fulfill these nutritional needs. And when you start to do that, switches in your body start to turn on that have been turned off for a long time, and the drugs that you're taking work better. It's kind of like you got a fire going in the background and, you know, you, you blow some air on it or the wind comes through and the fire gets stronger. Well, you take a drug into the body and you give it lots of nutrients, the drug works better. So you just have to be mindful of this and understand also. In the practice of naturopathic medicine, in a licensed naturopathic doctor's office in a state in which we're licensed and regulated to do this, our goal every time is to get our patients so healthy that they don't need prescription meds. Right. That's the goal, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you start taking this stuff generically because you're smart enough to understand that your body needs it, you need to just be aware that your body's probably going to get stronger, probably going to get healthier, and that's going to have uh, an impact on your pharmaceutical meds, and which, which is a relatively easy thing to track because, you know, I mean, if your blood pressure starts coming down and you go back to the attending MD and they see that the blood pressure is down, they're going to reduce the drugs. Right. Your pain starts coming down, you're going to reduce the pain meds and so forth and so on. So people just need to be mindful that everything connects 
and that what we're doing is attempting to upregulate the body's health. And when we can actually do that, all kinds of really great things happen. Peter, I'd like to thank you for your time, for your effort, for your courage to speak about these issues. Folks can get more information on the Fucoidin and on the foundation pack at operationfreedomhealth.com. There's information there. There are previous videos there. The products are also available if they so choose. I also encourage folks to get your books. Everybody is sick, and I know why, and attempt a cure with holistic medicine, both written by the great Peter Glidden, G-L-I-D-D-E-N. Peter, I'd like to thank you for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. You are, are, are truly a, 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 the, the head of the spear, if you will, when it comes to the health and wellness and nutritional support of every person willing to listen and to act upon your fantastic recommendations. I thank you. Thanks a lot, Dave. It's always a pleasure sharing the stage with you. Dream big and dare to fail. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I thank you folks for joining us today.